Hi, welcome back. Well, this is the earnings corner now. Wipro came out with its second quarter numbers post market hours and the firm largely met expectations. But revenue grew at over 4% and margins crossed 15%. The company expects growth in quarter 3 to be modest. Reema is joining us with the details and the analysis as well. Reema? Thanks so much for that. So Q2 for Wipro was largely in line with expectations. No positive surprise, unlike in the case of TCS. Constant currency revenue growth at 4.1%, right within the company's guided band of 3 to 5%. Margins on, expa on ex expected lines have expanded by about 16 basis points to 15.1%. But the miss is really on the Q3 guidance. That's the December quarter guidance. They're just guiding for a revenue growth of about 0.5 to 2%. And this is lower than consensus expectations. Some positives in the numbers, the deal wins are fairly healthy. They've gone up by 43% in the first half of the year. Attrition has ticked down even further. So that's a positive. But I think the street could be disappointed uh, by the guidance for the next quarter. So at a time when TCS reported a good set of earnings, HCL Tech has upgraded its revenue guidance uh, for Wipro. Uh, I think this um, you know, revenue guidance is going to come in as a bit of a miss. So although the valuations for Wipro are relatively relatively cheap, uh, this unexciting guidance could keep investors on the sidelines. So Wipro, but Rima, modest outlook from Wipro, but that's clearly not the case with HCL Tech. Uh, what were the numbers looking like? Well, Q2 is good, bang in line with street expectations. Uh, the company has reported a constant currency revenue growth of 3.8% in line with expectation. Margins have come in ahead of expectation. EBIT margins have expanded by 100 basis points to 18%. We were penciling in only a 40 basis points improvement in margin. Deal wins are solid. They've gone up by 16% on a quarter-on-quarter -quarter basis. And the sweetest thing in the numbers is the fact that they've raised the full-year revenue guidance. The earlier revenue guidance was 12 to 14%. It now stands at 13.5 to 14.5%, which means at the lower end, the companies raised the revenue guidance by 150 basis points. And it also mean that it means that HCL Tech is going to surpass the kind of growth that it had compared to last year. So it will be one of those few IT companies where FI23 growth is going to be better than FI22. They've lowered the margin guidance earlier 18 to 20 percent, now 18 to 19 percent. So the bottom end of the guidance remains the same at 18 percent, but the upper end has been brought down. This should not disturb the street at all because one, the actual estimates on the street were closer to 18 percent and two, the company themselves had guided for their margins this year will be at the lower end of the guided, guidance, which means anyway the street was working with, uh, you know, margins to be closer to 18 to 19 percent. So this, um, you know, decline in the upper end of the margin guidance should not cause any nervousness in the street. So all in all, uh, it's a good set of earnings coming through from HCL Tech. Uh, Q2, margin beat, revenue guidance, upgrade comes in as a positive surprise. Okay, all right, Reema, thank you so much for joining us with that analysis. In fact, we are also joined by market expert Prakash Divan to decode these numbers with us. Prakash, good afternoon. Thanks a lot for joining us. Well, you heard Reema while Wipro gave a modest outlook or the outlook in terms of their growth guidance was quite muted, but that's not the case with HCL Techs while the numbers were in line. Uh, what is your first take? No, I think I think I know honestly. I I could catch quite a bit of what uh, Rima ran me through, uh, ran us through uh, because of a patchy line. But uh, the the first look at the number very clearly do do tell us that it's it's very much in line, uh, from even slightly better than uh, what was expected. So from that perspective, it's it's kind of a number that do give you some sort of a respite. Uh, given that we went into earnings of this particular name with with uh, very low expectations of uh, you know a set of numbers that were expected was pretty weak. Okay, uh, Prakash, the line actually is very patchy, so we'll uh, try to reconnect with you and get your take on the numbers as well. For now, Wipro inline set of numbers, the guidance is quite modest, not in line with estimates. However, HCL Tech's guidance definitely beat estimates and that is something that the street will like tomorrow. So, of course, the reaction on these stock prices is something we'll be watching out for. But uh, banks will start coming out with their second quarter numbers soon and loan growth for the sector is at a multi-year high. Abhishek Kuthari is here with the details. Abhishek, expecting a good quarter for banks this time. As you mentioned, you know, the loan growth...
as you mentioned, you know, the loan growth of banking sector has been one of the best loan growth in a while. So the loan growth for the sector in Q2 FI23 was at a multi-year high of 16.44% YOI and around 4% sequentially. There has been business updates which have come in from few lenders, which shows that, you know, private banks have gained market share on the back of a strong loan growth momentum uh, from the PSU banks that they have gained market share. So RBI has been, uh, you know, raising the interest rates. So banks have also uh, raised interest rate in Q2. So you can expect net interest margin of the banks to remain stable or improve on a sequential basis, given the fact that they have also raised uh, interest rates. Asset quality will not be an issue. We may see improvement in asset quality with lower slippages this time around and better recovery. Large part of the slippages that may get reported will come from restructured book. A credit cost or provision for NPA divided by the advances ratio will be lower on a sequential basis that is quarter on quarter for majority of the players. Now PSU banks will not see a huge reversal in the treasury losses that they had in Q1 FI23 although many had guided for the fact that you know 50% of the losses that they had in Q1 may get reversed in Q2. We may continue to see private banks investing in their franchise which may keep their operating expenses on the higher side. We have some of the estimates coming in from Kotex Securities for SBI their estimate of NII is a 7.5% growth both YOY and quarter on quarter while net profit they estimate a growth of 52.5% YOY and close to 92% se uh, sequentially. For SDFC Bank, Kotex Sec has an estimate of NII growth of more than 17% YOY and about 6.3% quarter on quarter while they are expecting a profit growth of 27.5% YOY and about 22.5% sequentially. For ICICI Bank, the NII estimate is a growth of 18.7% YOY and about 5% sequentially while profit is expected to grow more than 35% YOY and close to 8% sequentially. For Axis Bank, the NII estimate by Kotak Securities is a growth of close to 27% YOY and about 7% sequentially while profit expectation is a growth of 46.5% YOY and more than 11% sequentially. Back to you. Okay, all right, Abhishek, thanks a lot for joining us with that analysis and with that, it's a wrap on this edition of Markets Today. Thank you for watching.